टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पग मार्क एनालिसिस आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड मोर डिटेल्स लाइक फॉरेंसिक सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ पग मार्क अलोंग विद हाउ टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन द पग मार्क ऑफ डिफरेंट स्पीसीज ऑफ एनिमल एंड बीट हर्बी बोर और कार्नी बोर और टाइप्स ऑफ पग मार्क इम्प्रेशन दैट आर फॉर्म टॉपिक्स दैट वी विल कवर इंक्लूड आइडेंटिफिकेशन that is introduction of pug mark types of pug mark categories then significance of pug mark importance of pug mark in forensic science and the wholesome analysis of pug mark how it is done and how we are able to uh, differentiate between the pug marks whenever found on the crime scene the introduction portion of pug mark look this is how the pug mark looks like and when it is formed on the soil pug mark basically refers to the footprint that two of wild animal so a human beings footprint mark won't be called as pug mark in hindi pug refers to foot every species has different type of pug mark this is the main identification criteria how we can differentiate between two or more species just by looking at their pug mark so there are some or other identification individual characteristics which makes them unique then there is another term for footprint of animal apart from pug mark that is hoof mark this term hoof mark is used for the pug mark of um, not pug mark but footprint of herbivore animal who are herbivore animals cow horse sheep these are all the herbivore animal the presence of animal wild animal often can be determined by looking at the pug mark if found on the place now this pug mark can be found anywhere not just on soil not just on mud but also on snow sand and uh, maybe on wax and other surfaces whatsoever can also be found on the cements newly constructed house newly constructed road now we will discuss about most important topic of pug mark analysis that is the types of pug mark pug marks are basically classified into three type that is 2d pug mark 3d pug mark and uh, the negative pug mark 2d pug mark is most commonly found whenever the foot of the animal comes in contact with paint or dust particle and that impression is left on some other surface so the mark found is termed as 2d pug mark then we have another type of pug mark that is 3d pug mark uh, commonly termed as sunken pug mark this is how 3d pug mark looks like impression left behind on the soft or irregular surface now this soft surface could be anything from mud snow soil or whatever or the example of the wet cemented land that i have given to you is related to sunken or 3d pug mark then we have this negative pug mark negative pug mark is just opposite of 2d pug mark as you have seen in the case of 2d pug mark first the animals foot will be put on the paint or dust or any surface from where the impression would be carried on the surface which ever contains a uh, paint or for an example let us take an example of paint the, here a uh, huge quantity of paint is present so when animal steps upon it some or other amount of paint would definitely stick on their foot and the same impression would be left on the land wherever it is steps okay but in case of negative impression just something opposite to it occurs look at it it is a track of impression left on the dusty or soft surface when an animal's foot lifts off the ground look this is how it looks a void will be left on the surface wherever a foot of the animal will be uh, kept void would be automatically made at the surface then there are basically two category the felidae and the candidae based on this two category we distinguish between the claw or paw of the animal in felidae family felidae family means family of cat 
all the members of felidae family are mentioned here from panther to lion tiger to cheetah and jaguar as well whereas candidae family is dog's family dog wolf fox panther these all are the members of candidae family both of them show differences in the pug marks like heel pad is larger when we talk about the member of felidae family whereas heel pad is shorter when we look at the pug mark of canidae family then toe is shorter and uh, middle toe spacing is more in canidae family distance between toe is lesser as compared to that of the members of canidae family in felidae family front foot middle is same and in the case of canidae family then distance between heel pad and toe is less here distance between heel pad and toe is more here this is something that you can memorize simply or we can distinguish between our two by looking at this characteristics feature whenever we encounter the footprint or pug marks of the animals of canidae or felidae family have a look at this same level but here the claw marks are not as same as that of the canidae family gapping is more in the case of canidae family you can look here here is more gapping whereas very less gapping is present when we look at the pug mark of feridae family one more very important question can be framed from here the dew claw what is a dew claw it is mostly present in the members of feridae family that is in the case of big cat significance of pug mark why pug mark are important and have to be studied first of all they are essential for determination of sex using the pug mark you can differentiate between the uh, pug mark whether it belongs to a female or it belongs to male animal the pug mark of male can be easily fit into square have a look here is a square whereas the pug mark of female can nearly fit in a rectangle okay then shape of toe of male is more rounded whereas in female it is elongated have a look here the male toes are rounded whereas the toes of female are elongated these are rounded toes where are female toes are more kind of elongated then we have this age of pug marks by looking at the pug mark and the soil nearby or whatsoever the substance a pug mark would have been made on you can easily figure out how old that pug mark is then movement of the animal the gait pattern of the animal gait patterns are mostly studied in case of human being in case of the uh, footprint of a uh, but you can also carry out the gait pattern analysis in the pug marks in the footprints of animal identification of animal can be done on based of the like a rough identification you might not be able to identify that exactly which member of the canidae family uh, the pug mark belong to but you can get a rough estimation that the pug mark would probably will belong to uh, the family of canidae or the member of canidae family so this is how a rough analysis of the animal that probably could be present on the scene can be made by just looking at the pug mark like the age sex size and uh, things like that of the animal can be determined by looking at their pug mark then study of wildlife population census can be made like uh, i read a book back then where the uh, tiger census were done based on their pug mark mostly the wild animals identification their population estimations are made based on their pug marks only uh, however it is very hard to you know catch every animal and just note down their population the pug mark is also helpful estimation of uh, to estimate the time when animal moved and direction to which animal must have traveled it is highly useful in case of animal trafficking and poaching as well mark analysis how exactly the analysis of pug mark carried out whenever you obtain some pug mark or the hoof mark so there are certain steps that need to be followed out in order to identify the animal to which probably the pug mark belongs there are several ways to carry out pug mark analysis and this is what it is mentioned here however the technology had always um, 
proved as a boon in such cases in the fields of forensic science mostly so here as well we use different machines machineries in order to figure out the uh, nature of the pug mark the belongingness of the pug mark for manual method of identification some measurements are taken note is made manual method means where there is no involvement of machine uh, low involvement of machine then some basic point that are taken into consideration during carrying out to the identification are if pug mark fits into square there are high probability that it belongs to male if it fits in rectangle there are high probability that it belongs to female look at the shape of toe if it is round then it could be uh, <clears throat> then there are high chances that it must be of some male animal and if the toe is elongated you can assume that the female animal is responsible for forming it front pug mark are larger in size than hind pug mark and forward middle toes are almost of same level so you can carry out species identification from them as well the length and breadth analysis of the pug mark pml pug mark length pmb pug mark breadth it is measured from pug mark length is measured from tip of the farthest toe to the base of the pad along the walking line have a look at it this is how we measure the pug mark breadth and this is how pug mark length is measured length of the farthest toe this is the farthest toe and this is the pug mark length base of the pad then pmb is measurement of extreme ends of the first and the last toe this is the pug mark breadth the farthest ends are measured here pug mark with pml of less than 6 cm are mostly be, uh, believed to belong to cat then pug mark of diameter somewhat between 5 to 7 cm might belong to leopard cubs cubs yani kids of leopard then pug mark of 5, uh, 7.9 to 5 cm may belong to adult leopard and pug mark length ranging from 9 to 12 cm indicate the pug mark of mature tigers this is the machine the distribution processing technology or also known as dpt that is digital pug mark technology it is a new age technology that is used for the determination of pug mark this method is used for estimation uh, of the specific species however apart from certain manual technique this technologies are also nowadays uh, widely used for identification and the study of the pug marks this is the conclusion how pug mark is used and why it is nowadays greatly into forensic importance all these things can be uh, considered or concluded from the entire lecture so i hope you must have found this pug mark analysis topic interesting and Thanks for watching the lecture.